Adam's going to speak first. And uh, Amy, and then the chief, and Grand Chief. And Patricia uh, Francis, counselor, is here to support them. She'll help answer questions in the evening. have uh, gone through quite a bit of trauma and some uh, manhandling, if you will. And yet, they say they, they will heal. One thing is for certain, the resolve still remains. I stand behind them 100%. And I will stand in front of them, as you all well know. Yeah, I will. I will always stand for my community. And we 
whichever direction that they wish to go, I will beat them. You know, one of the things that one of the things that uh, is always certain in our community of El <coughs> is that the healing process always begins quickly. Our healing teams have been mobilized and we have set up operations within the public buildings of the community, just like the community fire hall, the community hall, the health center, we have teams that will be at those areas for the next whatever it takes, whether it's uh, week, months, years. What the RCB had to put our people through is, it's, 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 say the least. But one of the things that our community does well is heal. One of the things that our community is, is resilient. And one of the things our community is, is strong. This process has begun. We are on the path to forgiveness. Although it's a long road, and it may, may take some time, the Mi'kmaq are always a forgiving people. And that goes with El Sabuktuk as well. We have gone through many hardships in the past. And this is no different. It's another stumbling block, if you will. Another step forward. And another hurdle that we have overcome. One of the things wonder is how much the federal government tends to cut programs to the First Nations, yet we have a surveillance airplane that has been flying around in the sky for the past three or four days. Could you imagine how much money that is costing the government just for little old Elsa Bokta? Now I don't know what the reasoning behind the spy plane flying around Del Sebokto is. I really don't, but I could just imagine. I could just imagine that it costs a lot of money, a lot of taxpayers' money. With that, I guess I would just like to say that uh, uh, our, our healing process has begun, and uh, it should, it will take some time for us to forgive, but we will forgive. Adios.